So this is a factor reset for this Moto G7 Optimo. Um, if you're trying to do a factor reset because you forgot your password, pattern, or pin blocking the screen of the phone, or even a Google account blocking the screen, then just open the link on, of the of a tutorial that I have on how to hard reset using hardware keys or external keys on this Moto G7 Optimo on the uh, comment section of this video or uh, on the description of this video as well okay so let's go in open settings and on settings let's go all the way down and gonna find system okay system and then open system and then let's go all the way down and go to advanced and then uh, reset options Okay, and there's three options. You have three options to reset the phone. You erase all user all user data. Is factor reset the third option. Uh, this is what you need to do in case that you want to delete all your web history, contacts, uh, multimedia, downloaded applications, um, games, music, and everything. Okay. Uh, second option is reset app preferences, reset Wi-Fi, mobile, Bluetooth in case that you struggle with your internet or struggle connecting Wi-Fi or you just want to delete all your Wi-Fi history or all your Bluetooth history or devices connect to your phone, you just can choose the first one and reset app preferences. So um anything that you want you want to clear your cache on your facebook twitter messenger that you need to go to the first one okay and if there are any change you you made on any application on your phone so you need to go to reset app preferences okay so let's go and check the erase all user data and it is very very important that you know your google account associated with the phone such as email address and password because after the factory reset you will have to verify Google in order to in order to um, continue and get to the home screen if you fail to verify Google your phone will be blocked permanently so uh, make sure that you know uh, and just make sure just uh, you can go to any tablet any other computer and log into your Google account associated with the phone so just make sure that and the email and password match because sometimes I get I get comments from my uh, my subscribers saying that they enter they know for sure that it is the email associated with the phone and password but it doesn't let them uh, confirm or verify so I highly recommend you to go to a different computer or in the case a tablet or Android and then log in with your Google account just to make sure that you have the right one okay uh, so and also uh, make sure that you did a backup with your Google account because um, like I said everything is going to be deleted like password pattern or pin um, you're going to be delete any web history any contacts um, email addresses uh, multimedia and things like that Okay, so we're going to go back to this section um, and just find a backup. Okay, backup here, you, you you have to have a Google account associated with this. This is what your email address associated with the, the with your Android, your Moto G7. Okay, so this email address right here doesn't show anything because I don't have anything stored in this phone. But you want to see your email, email address here. And this email is the one that you have to do a backup. In to so make sure with the same so with the same Google account after the factor reset you will be able to retrieve any um, any information that you have and or you did a previously backup before okay so all right so let's go and do the reset uh, for all user data we already went through that everything's gonna be delete if you agree with this uh, just go and touch the reset phone. And you have a password pattern or pin this is where you have to confirm or verify your lock screen and then continue and once you hit erase everything um, your factor reset will be uh, 
complete restart right? and there is no way to go back so just so here it's going to take a few minutes maybe probably around what some seven eight minutes min the maximum um so in case that so if it takes longer than this that means something is wrong with the phone such as the power of the phone you get stuck with the Motorola logo or Android package or in this case family mobile or your carrier's logo that means something is wrong with the motherboard we need to calibrate it such as uh, long press the power key to power off the screen and start over again but then you won't be able to do this factor reset from settings but you have to do a factor reset with your external buttons or external keys okay so that's uh, the link that i'm gonna leave on the uh, comment section of this video or the description of this video on how to hard reset this model g7 optimal um from my channel so um just open that and follow the instructions with the phone power off and starting the factor reset with hardware keys Okay, so here is going to take a little, like I said before, 7 to 8 minutes, so just be patient. And if you experience a lot of drop calls, probably you need to do a hard reset. Uh, so that's why I'll, I'll leave that link so you to open and try it. Okay, so we are on the initial setup screen. Uh, let's go and select a language. So this is all, these are the languages that you can use on this Model G7. Okay, it's probably you're trying to learn these languages so you can actually use it on this Model G7. Probably so you can practice or things like that. Okay, so oops, I hit the wrong language. Okay, so let's go and select English and then you're gonna start. And here is you need you have a Wi-Fi. Go ahead and register a Wi-Fi to continue because you need to verify Google. Um, or you have an active SIM card from Family Mobile, just insert right now, or Metro PCS, Boost, or any carrier that you are using with under Moto G. Skip and continue anyways. And then Google Services, I recommend you to leave everything on, location, scanning. Because if you anything that you go to look for on Google search engine, the first result you wanna get is the one close to your to your location. Or phone's location allows scanning, that means that uh, they will notify you is there any uh, Wi-Fi available for you to use so you can save your package data from your carrier. And you will receive, if you leave this one on, you will receive any uh, updates or notification about your updates on your Android. So you can download it and keep your Android up to date. Accept and continue. Uh, fingerprint, you can set up fingerprint right here. Or you can set up this after from phone settings. Okay, screen lock, you can create a screen lock Let's say you want to do a four digit pin or six digit pin lock screen then just select it and then hit the next button confirm the same and then confirm okay privacy okay personalize you can leave your email address so they can receive you can receive any uh, notification about updates for your Android so okay hit the next button and we are on the home screen of this uh, Moto G7 okay security lock uh, setting security you can uh, change your lock screen from here uh, let's say that you don't you no longer want the 4 digit pin you want to switch the two uh, pattern and then so to draw a pattern you can start anywhere from these points okay you just touch any point location and draw the pattern that would you would like to lock your phone with 
Okay, you have to draw the same in order to you can clear this option. I'm gonna set the simple one for me right now. So just uh, hit the next button and confirm the same. Oops. And then confirm. All right, and now we switch the screen lock with pattern. Okay, so this how to um, lock your screen and set up this Phono G7 Optimal from Family Mobile, Boost Mobile, Strike Tail Wireless, uh, Track Phone, any carrier that supports this phone. So let me know if you have any questions and just um, please hit the like button. If this helps a lot, self help and somehow. And just uh, read my comments on the section if you would like to donate on Venmo or PayPal, anything that you would like to donate for this channel to grow. And uh, yeah, any questions, uh, let me know in comments. Thanks so much.